God bless you today on this historic Pentecost Sunday. I'm sitting here at the Christ Church. It's the oldest Anglican church here in Jerusalem. And I wanted to share a short message that God's put on my heart for this day. Just over my shoulders is the Mount of Olives, and it's the place where Jesus rode down into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. Luke 19, 41 says that as he drew near and saw the city of Jerusalem, he wept over it. And this word there is a loud weeping. All would have heard him. His heart was grieved over the people that he loved in the, in the city of Jerusalem, knowing that most of them did not know what truly would have brought them peace. They would miss their day of visitation. And 40 years later, the temple would lay desolate. A million plus Jews would die in the Roman siege against this city in 70 AD. I've been asking the Lord to release a global gift of tears across the body of Christ, to not just pray for the salvation of Israel, uh, but to pray the prayer behind the words, tears and travail. There's nothing casual about prayer in scripture. We know that travailing prayer must precede prevailing prayer, agonizing prayer, contending prayer, prayer with tears, desperate prayer. I'm praying uh, for myself and for those of us around uh, the world that we might enter into God's heart for Israel, uh, pleading for mercy on behalf of the Jewish people worldwide. As Zechariah 12.10 says, there's coming a day when God says, I will pour out on the house of David in the inhabitants of Jerusalem, a spirit of grace and pleas for mercy so that when they look on me, on him whom they have pierced, they shall mourn for him as one mourns for an only child, weep bitterly over him as one weeps over a firstborn. We love our Jewish brothers and sisters and we're standing in the gap on their behalf on this day, crying out with pleas for mercy pleading with desperate prayer as you have granted us mercy and haven't given us what we deserve. Lord, would you release your mercy upon your people Israel until she sees the one whom she has pierced. Would you release a piercing revelation of the pierced one, the lamb of glory. May we behold the lamb. This is a love motivated prayer. Right. It's a love-motivated plea to a love-giving God on behalf of love-needed people who live in a love-starved world. Daniel was one who loved his people and released his pleas for mercy on her behalf. He says in Daniel 9, 17 through 19, Now therefore, O God, listen to the prayer of your servant and to his pleas for mercy. And for your own sake, Lord, make your face to shine upon your sanctuary, which is desolate. God, would you incline your ear and hear. Open your eyes and see our desolations in the city that is called by your name. For we do not present our pleas before you because of our righteousness, but because of your great mercy. Oh Lord, hear. Oh Lord, forgive. Oh Lord, pay attention and act on this day. Do not delay for your own sake, oh my God. Let this be the day because of your city and the people who are called by your name. Save the remnant of your people, O Lord. Uh, may our hearts grow in tender love towards the Jewish people worldwide. We know that tears often bring tenderness. Right? As Spurgeon said, tears are liquid prayer. As the psalmist cried out, Lord, do not be silent at the voice of my tears. Psalm 126 says, those who, those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. He who goes forth weeping, bearing seed for sowing, doubtless will come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. Now we know that the Feast of Pentecost this day uh, is uh, called by the Jews the Feast of Weeks. Shavuot is, is, is all about the harvest. It's also known as the Feast of Harvest and it represents the first fruits that were gathered as the result of the work of the labor of those who had completed the spring grain harvest in ancient Israel. I'm believing that we need to weep with God's heart in order to reap a harvest. God, may we, you release a global gift of tears to the body of Christ this coming weekend, this uh, Pentecost Sunday, 
as we cry out and plead for mercy with tears on behalf of the people you love so much. Father, give your son the nations as his inheritance all the way back to Jerusalem. Amen and amen.